All right, boys and girls, I'm going to try this one more time. <laughs> Thank you, please, first, to one of my uh, followers or somebody that just happened to see the video for pointing out that I had no audio in this. <sighs> Long story, but I was trying to do some things that I didn't want to capture the mic earlier. But anyway, I'll try to make this quick. A user on the Real Illusion forum who emailed me had as a problem with a particular clothing item from Daz. So I thought I would go through and show you how to adjust it uh, to fix the poke through that often happens. And it, this isn't anything real new. I think I've discussed this in other videos, but we'll concentrate on the poke through. And along the way, we'll talk about a few other things. So first of all, uh, as, we, as we always talk about and tell, the only time you want to use the basic is if you're bringing in just the morphs of a Genesis 8 character. In other words, no clothing, no props, no items, just the character with the morphs and not even the skin texture. That's the only time you ever would use basic. So we always use advanced. So uh, this is a Daz Lumberjack clothing uh, that I loaded up. And the first thing we see is all of these um, buttons and studs. We always get rid of these. Anytime the studs or buttons are not part of the outfit, uh, they won't transfer properly. And I've talked about that in another video, so I'm not going to go over it again. There's a, there's a fix for this, but I don't want to go over that. So find that other video and you'll see. So we have a shirt, we have pants, and we have boots. Okay, that's fine. So we're just going to go ahead and bring it in. And uh, one of the things is I'm doing this in, I, in Character Creator 4. I, I think I've expressed my displeasure with it along the way. One of the worst problems about it is it doesn't bring in all the textures anymore. Uh, but I'm going to show you how you do that manually. It's just a pain in the ass. So, matter of fact, I think we'll do that first because I think when I did this the first time without the microphone, I completely forgot that. So when this comes up, we're going to click on the shirt here, and we're going to go to textures, and you're going to see first there's a number of different uh, splits on this item. And as a general rule, you just want to combine all these because they're using the same maps here. If we go over to the uh, textures here um, for the shirt, you'll see that they all use the same maps. So, and by the way, we, I've already shown you before in Daz how to find out where these textures are located. They're always in runtime under the subcategory textures and then whatever developer has created this. So in this particular case, we're going to go through, select all of these textures, and we're going to go ahead and merge the materials. I'm sorry, not merge materials. I hate this. This is, this is CC4, consolidate materials. Uh, once again, they've changed things so much I don't like. So we say, okay. And so now they're all using the same uh, maps for the same material. So if we go here and we drag over the normals into bump and we select it as normal, that's fine. And same thing for, uh, we don't need to do roughness and metallic and height because they're all the same there. But like for the, uh, oops, the pants, same thing here. We want to first merge all these materials. Merge material, not, not consolidate. See, <sighs> this old man finds it tough to lose new things. Consolidate materials. You just pick some item. It doesn't really matter which one. It just will have the name for that. And then once again, we'll go ahead and put the normals in. Normals. In this particular case, there is a uh, rough. Now uh, roughness, there isn't really. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the shirt. Somebody stop me. I have a friend that just came over, and I'm a little distracted. I'll try not to let him distract me completely. If you hear him in the background, don't worry about it. Anyway, uh, then we'll put this here. Uh, yeah, I'm busy. I can't talk to Frank right now, so <laughs> you'll just have to deal with it on your own. And one more time, we'll do the boots. Again, select all the boots. See, will I remember which one to do this time? How about consolidate materials? Hey, I picked at that time. Try not to pay any attention to the noise in the background. That's just my friend that came over. and uh, It's Thanksgiving for us here, guys. It may not be Thanksgiving for you, but for us, it's Thanksgiving because we are celebrating early because we have a daughter here. So that's, uh, that's kind of an early celebration for Thanksgiving. And last but not least, metallics. Okay. All right, so we have all the materials. So now what we want to show you is if you go into Pose... And a lot of times you can see the, the break. Matter of fact, I don't even think I need to do pose this time because I think it, the break shows up. Yeah, there we go. So the break shows up in the shirt. This guy said he tried everything. I don't actually think he tried everything, but, but let's show you the things that you can try and what works and what doesn't work. The first thing you always do is conform. You always want to do conform because it will help a lot. It won't necessarily fix everything, but you want to calculate the collision and it will, it will help a lot. 
So in this case, it does help a lot, but you can see there's still some small breakthrough. And if you pose it in extreme poses, particularly with the arms moved around, you may see that. So the next thing you can try is cloth layer settings and making sure that the items are all in the right order. So the shirt's underneath, the pants, which are underneath the boots. You can go auto hide mesh. And this basically takes the mesh that's being covered up and hides it. And it usually does it with the body mesh, but and you can see in this case it doesn't. Okay, so what else do we do? Well, what we can do is we can come into the character himself on the character and go to edit mesh. And on the character himself, and I've got my mail coming in, sorry about that. Uh, we can do a number of things here. We can go into face and you can actually hide those faces. You can go here and come down to here and hide them. And that works, but the problem is you've actually got a break in that shirt. So if anybody looks close, you'll see a hole there. Plus, if this is transferred over to iClone, a lot of times the hidden mesh has come back. It's kind of weird. So the best way to do this, the absolute best way, is to come in to Sculpt and go in to Push, in this particular case, Push. And you want to mirror it because you, if you have a problem on this side, you're going to probably have a problem on the other side. And you just push that mesh in until it doesn't show up anymore. And there it is. Okay, looks good. And then we're done. And then if you put this in extreme poses, suddenly you're done. Now, you can save this out, it's fine, but if you try to do anything with the morph of this character, for example, if you, if you get a big, um, let's say you make a chest big here, let's scale this chest on up. You know, that actually worked okay. Let's, let's just put a, a big body in here. We'll put some kind of muscular body here. Uh, I know I have a muscular body here. Somewhere, oh yeah, here we go, Ramon is, uh, there we go, look at that. So that broke all those meshes around there. So again, this is only good for the particular body that you have in this outfit. So what you'll have to do is to go in to this character and you'll have to go in and do an edit mesh and you go ahead and push, again, with the sculpt tool, you'll go ahead and push those verts in um, actually, we need a lot, a lot bigger uh, thing here. Let's see. Let's make this radius a little bigger. There we go. You'll push the verts in, and once you do that and go through, I'm not going to go through all of this because this will take forever to push his verts in. But once you push them in, you'll you'll get them all hidden, and then everything will be will be fine. But I won't do all that. You'll just have to take my word for it. So um, anyway, so that's what you'll do, and you'll have to save the outfit for the particular character that you're using. That will work. Save this whole character with the vert with the verse verts pushed in because even when you uh, load this in iClone, it won't readjust those verts. So that's the way to do it. And hopefully all this explained things. And you guys have a great Thanksgiving. And I will see you on the forums.